Tonight, it's a sobering statistic for parents. Drug overdoses, specifically fentanyl, are the number one cause of death for Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. And with social media, these dangerous drugs are ending up in children's hands more often. However, tonight, one local organization is working to change all that. Tomorrow, Rails Jewish Family Services is hosting a free discussion to educate parents online. Joining me now live is Michelle Schur, a licensed social worker with B'nai Torah Congregation. Michelle, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Anytime you hear of children and drugs and the messaging, it's always communication. What's the number one goal for tomorrow's discussion? Uh, basically, to educate people about the uh, dangers of unintentional uh, fentanyl ingestion and ways to prevent that from happening. Social media has been a sort of double-edged sword for, for us and our generation and for the younger generation as well. Uh, how has social media made it easier for children to get their hands on these drugs? Well, kids and teens are purchasing uh, these drugs through dealers, say through Snapchat or other social media platforms. Uh, when they think they're buying something like Xanax or Adderall, they're actually buying fentanyl and are uh, unintentionally being poisoned with fentanyl and dying. What message do you have for parents when it comes to talking to your kids about the importance of drugs and, and the important messaging of communicating with your children? It's very important for parents and kids to have open conversations about these things and basically for kids to think hard about whether or not to ingest any substance and if they're going to move forward with ingesting to use a tool such as uh, test strips to confirm that the drug that they are ingesting is not laced with fentanyl. Now tomorrow a big discussion. I'm sorry, I'm go sorry, ahead. There are, way, there are easy ways to prevent these unintentional fentanyl deaths and that's what parents need to talk about with their kids. And tomorrow's discussion, uh, let's hone in on that. How can people get involved tomorrow if they'd like to join in this discussion? People can contact Jewish Family Services or B'nai Torah Congregation for the Zoom information, which will be uh, led by professionals on how to have these conversations with their children and different ways and resources to prevent uh, fentanyl uh, death from occurring. Michelle Schur, a licensed social worker with B'nai Torah Congregation. Michelle, thanks so much for this all-important message, and especially what's going to happen tomorrow night. We appreciate your time, ma'am. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. You too. Honey?